Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia cars. And I'm here today at EV Trend. So I'm here at a uh, COEX, one of the largest exhibition here in Korea. And one of the first video was shot here. And I came down to check on EV6 as well as Ionic 5 because there are going to be those cars up in display for today but uh, however as you can see from the background i think it's going to be very tough for me to zoom in on those cars today all right guys i thought the hype about the ev6 it was only here in well excuse me i thought the hype about ev6 was only in europe with that big kia emblem right there but then you see those lines right there I'm not going to show you like up close due to the privacy issue but that's the lineup for people to just get into the EV6 um, you know I did see this coming but then I'm seeing it here with my own bare eyes and uh, that's how many people we have for Ionic 5 but just to be fair the thing is, Ionic 5 is currently being rolled out here in Korea. People are actually driving their Ionic 5. It's already been uh, you know, processed and it's already been delivered to the owners. So that being said, you know, there are less of the hype about Ionic 5. And also there's uh, hundreds of I Ionic 5 testers here in Korea. So it might not be the fair game, but again, Compare this to that of the EV6 all the way there. You guys tell me where there are more people, EV6 or Ionic 5 back there. As I have suspected, it's the identical EV6s that we've seen from the previous EV6 episode. The same color, same GT line and GT all the way on the back. And also noticeably different is that there is an absorbent here on the front, the front of the hood, and that's because there is a motor sitting on the front as well. So when it's all wheel drive, meaning that there's a motor on the back as well as one on the front, hence much smaller space on the front. However, there is this sound absorbent, and that's one of the easiest way for you to tell and differentiate between the two, if it's all wheel drive or two wheel drive, 
from the size of the front as well as seeing the absorbent but obviously that's pretty much very unlikely because you would have to open up a trunk to figure that out so this is the model without the motor on the front so it has the same looking frunk however much much bigger frunk space on the front and as i've said there is no absorbent up in the hood because this one does not have a motor on the front so no need for sound canceling So there is a screen for EV6 as well, obviously right here, but they took it off for this model. And once again, the best part about the EV6 compared to that of Ionic 5 is this lever right here. That one is missing on Ionic 5, whereas there is that one right there on EV6. And honestly, I really think that's going to be a deal breaker for some of you guys out there because being able to fold the seat from the second row seat using a lever versus going all the way across, open up the second door and use that lever right there to fold the seat. So this is what you would do to fold the second row seat on Ionic 5, but once again, EV6, you can do so right away from the trunk compartment. And one of the largest difference is this sunroof. And this is something that we've seen on other Hyundai cars. And this is pretty much the identical one, if not very similar one to that of my Veloster Ns. So this is wide panoramic sunroof. And uh, Ionic 5 does not offer a sunroof like this. And one more thing, with the second row seat, EV6 has window going down all the way like this whereas this is as far a second row window would go down on Ionic 5. Um, I can see that it's dual pressed for better noise cancellation on the back however that might be the reason why but this is as far a uh, second row seats window go down and coming back up just like how I was with the EV6 this is the model with the vision roof and wow you can actually see people right through it and that has this wide vision roof like this one and unfortunately ionic 5 does not offer the wide panoramic sunroof like that of the ev6 and this model ev6 is one without the sunroof on the top so just the plain cover on the hood like this and let's take a look at the charging port so also supported with the dc combo type one underneath you have to unplug the one on the bottom so i'm gonna go over to ionic 5 and check it out as well but i have a feeling that there was a cover on the ionic 5 on top versus it doesn't for ev6 you can see the level of the batteries left here again different from that of an ionic fives or you can just close it with a push of your hand like that as well and uh, let's go through the trunk compartment right here so underneath there is a, a meridian sound system embedded so it has a big woofer or if not the sound system underneath embedded so less of a trunk compartment space as we can see however it's so you can't really use that as your spare trunk on the rear unfortunately 
and with the second row seats folded to the front it is not fully flat but it will provide the space necessary and i don't know what the condition is for this uh, welcoming light to turn on it's not on right now but this one turns on and uh, ionic 5 does not have s1 and going through the trunk compartment of ionic 5 as well so on the back this ionic 5 also has the sound system embedded on the back i believe it's bose so bose for hyundai and ionic 5 and there is also a woofer slash the sound system control unit on the back and uh, a little difference from that of an EV6 is, as we've been seeing throughout, Ionic 5 concentrates on the spacious, the space and practicality. So, although small, although minimal, you can have extra luggage stuff underneath right here. And when it's covered, also it provides a lot of space on the rear. And same for EV6, due to the battery pack sitting on the lying underneath, it's not fully flat. But one more thing, as I've been pointing out throughout, there is no lever on the back for Ionic 5. Really don't know why, I mean, but I do know why. It's because they have the automated seats for the second row seats with the slider on the back. So that is the reason why. But again, like I said, that could be a really, really big deal breaker for some of the people out there. And let's switch over to this charging port of Ionic 5. Again, you can just press it and then it will pop up like that. The biggest difference is the battery remaining system that is shown with the pixel lights. I really like this touch. We've seen that also on Pony Heritage EV. So, um, excuse me, looking at the Ionic 5, it's the same thing. There is no cover on the top for a regular charge. But if you do want to charge your car with the rapid charging system, you actually have to uncover one on the bottom. So the layout here is pretty much essentially the same with the same warning light logo right here. One on the top, one on the bottom, remaining. And you can also close it with a button over there. But again, although it's probably not recommended, you can also close it by force like that. And I'm hopping in the second row seat of Ionic 5 and just trying to test out the reclining system for the seat on the back. So you can slide back and forth, that's automated. And going back and forth like that, that is manual. So let me lock at the first level. So this is locked at first level. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. 11, 12. All right, so I could be wrong by a couple couple measures here, but they have 12 different levels of reclining. So you can really adjust it to the degree that you want it to. And when it's tilted all the way back, of course, I'm not comparable to that of a driver's seat, but you can also enjoy the vision roof on the top from the second row seat. Not bad, not bad at all. And also let's hop in the rear seat of EV6. This is not a GT line, this is a regular one. And I'm on the second row seat. So also, this is all the way back, laid back I am. And all the way to the front. All right, so it locks up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so it has 12 levels, just like Ionic 5. And also, as for the slider, there is no slider on the rear, second row seat. So you cannot move the seat back and forth. There is nothing underneath here and there, but 12 different levels going back and forth. So that's the same thing for the second row seats. And here they use the Meridian system around on the back with a bit of a gloss finish. So I've set the language into English and just take a look around. As we all know, the bezel on this uh, Ionic 5 is color themed to white. 
and this is the terra brown color which is only available here in Korea and this is the wide cockpit view however the one of the biggest difference as we can see that this display on Ionic 5 is not slanted whereas it is in on EV6 and also there's this uh, white tone interior and you can only pick white for this one unfortunately and this is the steering wheel and the buttons and the functions on the steering wheel remain pretty much identical to that of a Kia EV6 the drive mode you just press it to change it not the dial type press it and here also the rumor has it we might be seeing something else right here instead of the uh, well there will be an airbag but this might turn into something special and one more thing is this island type center console which you can move it around push it and pull it maximizing the space so as you have picked up from a number of reviews well one from i have plenty of reviews on ionic 5 as well as ev6 but being in the driver's seat of these cars you can see that ionic 5 is dedicated for the space the practicality and the functionality of the vehicle whereas ev6 focuses more on the design so uh let me know what you guys think about it and also one of the best part is this glove box a shelf type glove box which we've never seen before and which is only possible because of uh, the layout of the ionic 5 instead of it opening dropping down like a, that of a conventional one there it has a shelf like this and it's much more practical and also we see more of eco-friendly materials upcycled and recycled materials from plastic that's been used on here the texture here feels very durable all right hopping in the inside of ev6 gt line and let's switch this over to english as always and as you can see immediately different is the interior color theme that is black and once again just like ionic 5 you cannot choose the different color for the inner bezel right here so this is the black for gia and white for ionic 5 and also the difference is that this display is actually slanted and it's pointing towards the driver and so is everything else everything else is driver centric someone has the heated seats on oh my god so also the center console you cannot move it unlike ionic 5 and this is the glove box the typical glove box that we see so as also that's a difference from that of an ionic 5. And as for the buttons go the design is of course different however the layout the buttons it's all self-explanatory direct and intuitive you also have a very good idea of what the buttons do when you look at the icons right here and just going through the material that's been used this is feels like a more of a suede however it's also been created from reusable upcycled recycled materials and they have the top-notch meridian sound system embedded in this on gt line and also the white accent so overall when you are in the cockpit of this Kia EV6 you can feel that they focus on more of a design your experience within the car versus Ionic 5's spacious more of a practicality you know another home away from home more of a living slash your working area and whatnot so leave your thoughts in the comment below which is your more favorite personal car Ionic 5 Hyundai Ionic 5 versus Kia EV6 I definitely have a winner here but I am not going to say it out loud to be fair and also although this is the GT line with the fully loaded option even with the sunroof on top this does not provide the digital side mirror unlike Ionic 5 they don't even provide that as an option all right so thank you for watching let me know in the comment below what you like more better EV6 or Ionic 5
I think this would be a good answer to the reason why there were so many people in AV6 not Ionic 5. It's because Ionic 5 are already out on the streets here in Seoul or Korea running. So that's the reason why mostly. And uh, EV6, it was their first time to reveal their EV6 to the general public today. And that's another reason why. I can't believe what I've just done. This says, this is the exit, the entrance is B2. So I freaking thought it was <laughs> the basement too, but apparently it's that B2 over there. And don't tell me I'm the only one who would think that. 